Located in Manhattan's West Village, what we know today as West Beth Artist Housing currently exists as a complex of eight buildings. The site was originally constructed in 1868 for Western Electric, and after serving over 100 years as one of the world's most important research centers, this unique structure was given a new life in 1970 as a haven for artists seeking affordable housing and studio spaces. An ambitious renovation, led by the then up-and-coming architect Richard Meyer, resulted in 383 live workspaces for artists of all disciplines and their families. Creating one of the world's first examples of adaptive reuse of industrial buildings for artistic and residential purposes. Today, Westbeth continues to serve as a nonprofit, still guided by the community's passion for arts and a need for affordable spaces to live and work. Westbeth was added to both the National and State Registrar of Historic Places in 2009, and in 2011, the New York City Landmarks Preservation Commission unanimously designated West Beth Artist Housing as a New York City landmark. What I, I like best about this apartment is the openness. I can look out and see New Jersey. <laughs> and it's a wonderful place for dreaming and, and imagining because it has so many colored lights. It's like a psychedelic experience. This year, 2020, marks 50 years that this community has served as a place for making, sharing, displaying, and engaging. Through the years, the building and its residents have seen and experienced many changes. Though the building itself has aged and worn, those who call this place home refuse to abandon it, and most have chosen to stay and age alongside it. The surrounding area has shifted many times, and in recent years has undergone a transition from light industry to high-end residential structures. The neighborhood was known for its artistic culture, but is now home to many bankers, lawyers, and Wall Street traders. A migration of artists out of Manhattan and into more affordable areas has left West Beth standing as the last of its kind. General wear and tear is exacerbated by the need for accessible spaces and ADA compliant features for the benefit of the aging population. The most common issues expressed by residents and community members includes the lack of usable and meaningful space for making, displaying, and community activity. The aim of this project is the rejuvenation of West Beth done through interventions of new program that will energize and reconnect the building's underutilized spaces. The important thing is to be stimulated. What keeps me going is that I have a lot of projects I still want to do, and that is really what keeps life exciting. Ready to say goodbye. I'm ready to say hello. <laughs> 
We started by analyzing the current use and allocation of space and program. Seen here in the building's west and south elevations, patterns in program distribution become evident. Residential space comprises the majority of this built community. With commercial space both below, on ground level, and above on the top three floors. Community space is limited. Not only can circulation here often be a tricky maze to memorize, accessibility is frequently an issue. Highlighted here are areas that have been recognized as underutilized and as such serve as points of focus in this project. Live, work, perform, make, rest, display, commune, and connect. These proposals highlight design schemes that aim to revitalize and renew this unique community in an effort to uphold and strengthen the original mission of West Beth.